Welcome to part 4 of building a call centre building in the Philippines. Um, I just wanted to say here we would got to the stage where we tiled the floor, began to put the first coats of paint on the wall and seeing if it would actually be enough or whether we need two or three other coats. We would sorted the wiring out pretty much sorted the internet cables to bring them across from the other building and looking at the ceiling we were making the decision whether to bite the bullet and actually concrete the upper floor or overboard it for now then have to redo it again in the end we decided to bite the bullet and just um, concrete the upper floor biggest concern I had was the expensive tiles we just put down um, which the tiles cost between 1200 and two and a half thousand pesos each uh, so they're pretty expensive tiles even in the UK but at the same time got a good work team and we'll make well I was there as well which makes a big difference to making sure things are done the way you want them done. A bit of a handy tip if you're looking at concrete and a floor that was once timber. Um, before you rip the timber one out, look to see if you can drop it down because at the end of the day, concrete needs a support um, to pour onto that you can remove later. In these photos, you can actually see where we're actually lowering the floor to prepare for concrete to be poured onto it. On top of that, we filled all the um, rooms downstairs with timber supports, propping it up from underneath as well. We also built some extra concrete supports into the existing block work to strengthen it a bit as well, to take the concrete load. And when we did pour it, as you see, you'll see, is we do it section by section. Now we're ready to do the long tedious task of adding the steel bars and then tying them all together. Um, this strengthens the steel, uh, strengthens the concrete and is pretty common throughout the world. When it comes to pouring concrete, the, there's a few things you need to do in preparation. First thing is make sure you have enough people. Um, most of the stuff in the Philippines is manhandled as such you need to make sure you have enough people to do it and you need to make sure you've got plenty of water enough sand enough cement and basically have everything ready to go so that as soon as you start you don't stop until you're finished one of the things i will say is we made a bit of a mistake with the floor um, because basically we had let it, let it set for three or four days, but we had then brought up another section of concrete to be poured uh, for the rest of the room. It put a bit too much load on the, the actual flooring itself. We rectified it later, but it could have been avoided by not bringing up um, the sand and cement to mix on the floor, but instead mixing it on the ground floor and bucketing up. Just want to say, make sure you guys stay well hydrated while concreting. It's heavy work, it's sweaty work, and you just want to make sure they keep the fluids topped up. As a bit of a precaution and also a bit of a reinforcement, each room we took a steel beam right across the middle of each room, um, which would be later covered by the uh, false ceiling anyway. but made me happier knowing that the building was actually structurally sound and the first floor is uh, well and truly supported that's part five uh, sorry part four now complete we we'll just move on to part five where we start to tidy things up and start to turn a building site into a building <laughs> 